Okay. I'm going to do my best to take this serious. The Philadelphia 76ers have just signed Andre Drummond to a one-year deal. The 76ers, the team that already has Joel Embiid, the man that uses and abuses Andre Drummond just about every time they play, has him getting all out of character, trying to do spin moves to one-legged fadeaways that barely hit backboard. He leaves Andre Drummond pretty embarrassed. And speaking of getting embarrassed, that might be where Andre Drummond's at after, that, after this past Lakers season because he's coming off a whole career in general where he's been able to skate under the radar, putting up some great numbers, some dang near historic rebounding numbers, be able to get to an all-star team, be an all-star, and play for a team in Detroit where uh, people outside Detroit aren't going to really get overly critical. They're going to see, hey, you're dang near putting up a 2020. You know, they're not going to be watching games. Of, people in general aren't going to be watching Pistons games every night and saying, oh, he's actually, you know, his efficiency in the post isn't that good. They just feed him a lot. And he doesn't really play that good of defense. He doesn't really defend the pick and roll at all. They kind of just look at the numbers, and so he's been able to skate by and have a great career. And now that he's been in the limelight, oh, all of the criticisms have come out. And it has almost gotten to the point where he's a little overhated. And now that he's going to the Sixers, I think he's become the best backup big in the league. And we'll talk about this for the Sixers in a little bit. But for Andre Drummond, oh my goodness. Oh, are you down bad? you probably look at back at it saying, uh, maybe I would have been better signing with a team like the Knicks last year to where their expectations weren't as high. They were in the limelight, yes, but it wasn't championship or bust to where if you're losing games, they're going to be looking for someone to blame every time. More the Lakers fans, oh, they're looking to come at heads. Even on nights you didn't even play bad. I had Lakers fans in the comments talking about, Drummond's cheeks! So... Now we've got Drummond down bad to where he's signing to just be 100% a backup big and fill that Dwight Howard role. And for me, if I was Andre Drummond, I, or just as an NBA fan where that wants to see every player go to the best possible situation and balance out the league, you know, I wanted to see him go to like the Hornies, the Charlotte Hornets, a team that was basically a center away from being very interesting last year or moving forward in general. And they brought in Machos Harrell, yes, hey, Keep the Lakers' big rotation. Send them over to Charlotte because one man's trash, I'm not going to say it'd be treasure for Charlotte, but it could be a something solid. It's, you know, not trash. They'd call it compost over in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something different. It's some nice recyclables. They're not going to call it trash. And I think he would fit in well over there. And, you know, they would have a nice big rotation. But now he's going to Philadelphia to where he's basically going to be getting 15 minutes a night until maybe Embiid gets hurt. So for that, that's where we get to the Sixers. Because for Drummond, you're basically just 15 minutes a night unless Embiid gets hurt. So are you just baking on him getting hurt? Or are you just reserving yourself to the fact that now you're a backup big from the rest of your career? You're like a year away from being a borderline all-star. Now you're just secured in the fact that you're a backup big? That's that's interesting. That's, that's uh, surprising for me for Drummond. But for the Sixers, it's a great move. It's a great move. I mean, like I said, Drummond... He's got, he was definitely over, maybe not overrated, but he wasn't as great as the numbers said. He probably was never truly an all-star level player in terms of how good he is on the court. But he's better than a backup big. And a back, he, maybe at best he is a backup big, but he's not a backup big to where, you know, it's the, one of the best bigs in the league, if not the best lit big. And then you play the few minutes where he's not, you know, when he needs a rest. He's a backup big where he should be, be splitting minutes. He should be getting, you know, 20, 25 min, minutes a night, I would think, at best. And... For the Sixers, though, it's a good situation because losing Dwight Howard, who was great for those Sixers, you need a great backup big for him, for Joel Embiid. Because, like I said, injuries is the reason I had Joel Embiid as the 10th best player in the league right now. And Sixers fans, you might not like that, but the fact that you can't count on him at all being a 7-footer, actually I think a little taller than 7 feet, that just can't stay healthy, has had knee injuries, foot injuries, you just can't trust that he'll be healthy. And in the, you know, the leadership problems that I have with him now. I have him down at number 10. And so I think that's why you need to have a great backup big because you can't know when he's going to be out there or not. He Sometimes you'll get foul children. That's not too much big of an issue for him. But basically, it's just a good reserve, insurance, policy, insurance policy for if he gets hurt. And it's just good to have a nice backup big. For the Sixers and in the East, I think the Heat are dang... I know Sixers fans, it's not going to be popular here because it's mostly going to be Sixers fans watching this. But I think the Heat, I'm starting to like them a little better than the Sixers. we have to see what they do to get rid of Ben Simmons, assuming they make that move. If they can bring back something nice, we'll see. But the fact that 
and B doesn't stay healthy. Because if B if B gets hurt, and Drummond's great to fulfill that during a space during the regular season and keep you competitive, like Dwight Howard was able to last year. But if if B gets hurt in the playoffs, your season is done. Drummond isn't you know gonna be able, able to with this Sixers team you know win a ring with him fulfilling as the starting center. That's just not gonna happen. So it's a nice move for the Sixers. It's not a like a huge splash move that's gonna move the meal that much. And for Drummond. I don't even like the move at all. I'd rather see him go to a, a team that maybe has lower expectations to where he could get more minutes and, you know, get your stock a little bit back up because you're going from a team that just had such high expectations. Sixers fans are not going to be any easier on you. So, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, though. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.